we can use that spin it the uh, reference number controls located on refnum and classic refnum palettes to work with files directories and network connections we can use the control refnum to pass front panel object information to sub vis so if we place this then this reference is now available inside the VI and we can then use it. We can connect this. We can connect this uh, reference uh, on the connector pane and then use this VI as a sub VI. A reference number. or refnum is a unique identifier for an object such as a file device or network connections when we open a file device or network connection so when we open a file device or network connection labview creates a refnum associated with that file device or network connection all operations we perform on open files devices or network connections use the refnums to identify each object So uh, we can use a refnum control to pass a refnum into or out of a VI. We can use a, a refnum control to pass a refnum into or out of a VI. For example, we can use a refnum control to modify the contents of the file.
that a refnum is referencing without closing and reopening the file because the file is being opened and closed by the main VI. Because a refnum is a temporary pointer to an open object, it is valid only for the period during which the object is open. If we close the object, LabVIEW dissociates the refnum from the object and the refnum becomes obsolete. If we open the object again, LabVIEW creates a new refnum that is different from the first refnum. LabVIEW allocates memory for an object that is associated with a refnum. Close the refnum to release the object from memory. LabVIEW remembers information associated with each refnum such as the current location for reading from or writing to the object and the degree of user access. So we can perform concurrent but independent operations on a single object. If a VI opens an object multiple times, each open operation returns a different refnum. LabVIEW automatically closes refnums for us when a VI finishes running. But it is a good programming practice to close refnums as soon as we are finished with them to most efficiently use memory and other resources. Close uh, refnums in the opposite order that we open them. For example, if we obtain a reference from an object A and invoke a method on object A to obtain a refnum to object B, then we should close a reference to object B first. And then we should close the reference to object A. Or like we are doing here, we are opening the references and then when we are done, we are closing them opening them and then closing them when we are done and finally the, the first object is closed last. If we open a refnum inside a for or a while loop we should close the refnum for each iteration of the loop because LabVIEW repeatedly allocates memory for the refnum and does not free the memory until the VI finishes running.